Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to test the manifold absolute pressure or MAP sensor in your car. This is an important sensor that measures air pressure entering the engine and helps control fuel delivery. So you'll want to test it if you suspect any issues. The MAP sensor sends readings to the car's computer about intake air pressure, which affects how much fuel needs to be injected. It has three wires we need to check, power, ground, and signal. Some also have a fourth wire for intake air temperature. I'll demonstrate using a multimeter to test each wire's voltage, but I'll also explain how you can check the MAP sensor function without any tools using a scan tool to monitor live data. Let's get started. First, we'll test the power wire. Turn the ignition on, but leave the engine off. Set your multimeter to voltmeter mode and touch the red lead to the MAP sensor's power wire. Touch the black lead to the ground. You should see around 5 volts, which confirms the power circuit is working correctly. Next, we'll check the ground wire using the continuity setting on the multimeter. Connect both leads and you should hear a beep tone. Then touch the red lead to the MAP sensor ground wire and the black lead to the battery ground. If it beeps, that means the wire has continuity to the ground and is functioning. Moving on to the signal wire, this is the most important one we need to check. With the ignition on but the engine off, attach the red lead to the signal wire and black to the ground. It should read around 5 volts. Now start the engine and you should see the voltage drop to 1 to 2 volts as air begins flowing through the intake manifold. The changing voltage shows the signal wire is responding properly to pressure changes. If your MAP sensor has an intake air temperature wire, you can check it too. Turn the multimeter to voltmeter mode and touch the red lead to the IAT wire, with black still on the ground. At normal temperatures, it should show around 1.6 volts. If you don't have a multimeter, you can monitor the MAP sensor with a scan tool. At idle, it should read similarly to the barometric pressure of the surrounding air. Rev the engine and the reading should spike sharply then drop when you let off the throttle. This responsiveness means it's working correctly. The key things to check are whether the MAP sensor reads correctly at idle, responds quickly to changes in intake pressure when revving the engine and returns to idle values smoothly after letting off the gas. If the reading seems unresponsive or jumpy, doesn't match ambient air pressure, or stays stuck high or low, that likely indicates a bad MAP sensor that should be replaced. Making a graph of values on your scan tool can help identify faulty patterns. Testing your MAP sensor periodically this way allows you to catch any problems before they lead to poor drivability or fuel mileage. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments what automotive topics you want me to cover next.